Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's uh, still cooking. So I'm just gonna flip them over. So now they're uncooked side down. Good Sunday morning. Today's my turn to cook. Mm -hmm. Levi. Yes. He's had to do some chores this morning. I know, when you this morning. I know, but you did chores. Mm -hmm. He didn't sleep last night at all. I had to. I was so tired. Um, at, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I noticed that he wasn't in his bed. So, I was so t I did not want to get up and walk down this hallway. So, I just opened my phone, hit that camera button, and I could see him sitting here watching TV. He was rocking. And I said, it is too late. You've got to come to bed. And he turned TV off and come down the hallway. Within a couple of seconds, he was coming in. And then, at some point... About three something, I turned over my knees. I, I turned one way and I hurt my knee a little bit. So I actually was like doing this like slow turn. And um, I noticed that he was just laying there looking at the TV in the bedroom. And I said, did you take your night times? Because I put his in a little cup. He said he took them. And he, it was his clonidine. I sure hope they don't have to up his clonidine um, for nights, but three milligrams, that's all he takes, three. It's a tiny little bitty pill, three milligrams of clonidine. And then with that, I give him two just over the counter. They're not habit forming. Um, although maybe you can build up a tolerance to them because I give him two of those. I give him a clonidine and two of those and two melatonins and none of that keeps him asleep at night none of it i thought a couple nights ago i noticed so i told him today i said i'm gonna work you so hard today you're gonna be so tired when it gets bedtime <laughs> i don't know anyway i'm fixing to go in there and cook um i asked tina what she wanted she said i love your chicken and gravy so that's what I, she's having we're also celebrating Dustin's birthday, but Dustin loves chicken and gravy too. I'm just doing it on rice. I'm not doing potatoes. I don't think I'm doing potatoes. Anyway, what is this? Is that a rosy feather? Anyway, I'm going to get in there and start cooking and I'll take y'all with me. Alright, so y'all can see I've just got chicken and gravy. Now, I've got four or five of these packs, but I, I won't use that many. Already opened this. Cream of chicken, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, and I'm gonna get the ninja out. Oh, these aren't even, I can't even see. There. I'm gonna get the ninja out, and we are going to uh, put my, I'm gonna put the chicken in, and then I'll come back. Okay, I've thrown my chicken in. And honestly, with the Ninja, you don't even have to cook this chicken. I mean, it's I'm, I'm saying you don't have to brown it or any of that kind of stuff. Also, if you don't have a Ninja, this is this is just a this nor, nor before I ever had a Ninja. This just got put in a in a uh, roasting pan. All raw chicken got put in a roasting pan along with all these ingredients that I have right here. These cans of celery, uh, cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, some chicken packets, some salt, some pepper, some onions. All that would just go into a big roasting pan, put the lid on it, stick it in the oven, and cook it till the chicken was falling apart. I mean, I, don't, I can't even tell you how long I cooked it. Just until, now I always buy boneless, skinless thighs. They're just, they have more juice. So, um, but if, uh, you want, I mean, if you want to do it in a roaster or a, a big old like cake pan or something, you can so do that. Cover it in foil, cook it. But the Ninja, I just love it. It's just all in this, this little compact there. I don't have to dirty up any more dishes. 
So I've got this right now. I've got my Ninja. I, I don't know if you can see the, okay, there you go. If you enlarge, if you have to, if you want to, if, it, if you care to even check, but it has a stove top setting, then it has slow cook. It also has oven. Oven is, here's the little clicker, the little notch that you see where it's at. So it's low, medium, high stove top, then it's off. Then it's slow and high and buffet on the slow cooker and all the way to the bottom it says oven. And then on when you hit it oven, then you can adjust this dial to a certain um, temperature. But I'm just doing it right now on stove top high. I'm gonna give them about five minutes. You don't have to do this. You can, I can totally put all this stuff in and not do it. In fact, when I make sliders, barbecue pulled pork sliders, sometimes that, those pork, um, it's still frozen, but by, you know, four or five hours from now, it's c completely cooked. So you can literally do frozen. That was the one thing that I seen on, I think I ordered this off of QVC because I could make payments on it. I mean, it was years and years ago. And after I got mine, I thought, oh, I need to see if I can do this for Steph too. So I got Steph one too. Um, and then I think, I don't think I bought mom's. I may have bought Mama one too, but I made payments because I could not afford it outright. I just couldn't, but I made payments. Um, Mom's has gone out, and I think this whole, this Ninja cooking system is now called something else. It's like that Ninja foodie. I don't know if it does exactly the same thing, but I pray mine never goes out. Mama's went out. Um, I don't think, Ste I think Steph's is, just, is still going good. But I've got a little bit of vegetable oil on the bottom and I've got my thighs on there. And I'm just gonna brown them a little bit on one side then I'm gonna flip them. And I'm not gonna do anything else when I flip them. When I flip them, I'm gonna add all this stuff. And I will come back when I do that. Okay. Bring the mushroom. And the celery. Grilled chicken. Now, I'm going to take a gravy mix, chicken, just chicken flavored gravy mix. And I'm going to put a little bit in each one of these cans of leftover. Each one of these cans going to get some of this chicken gravy. That's it. I'll put a little bit of hot water in them. I'm gonna mix it up, get all the goody stuff off the sides of these cans. So it's gonna be like a third of a can. But by the time I do it to every one of these cans, it's gonna be like one whole can of water. If you know what I mean. Some hot water. I was just washing some dishes, so it's hot. My timer keeps going off telling me it was been 10 minutes. Alright, this is it. We're gonna I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. I'm gonna uh, put some I already put salt and pepper on my chicken. I didn't do that on video, but I already salted and peppered, salt and peppered it. So I'm gonna put some minced onions. Take this little thing off. I'm telling you what, guys, my knee is doing a number on me this morning. I cannot, my body turn, turn, my body tries to turn faster than my knee wants to turn. Anyway. I'm just stirring all this up, getting all these gravies mixed together. I'm moving them around in that chicken. Now, when it gets closer to time, when 
right before people get here, I will check it. And uh, I'm fixing to move it over. I could actually keep it on stovetop, huh? If I wanted to, I could just do that. I'm still gonna cook the same. I don't have to put it on slow cook, I'm just leave it on stovetop. And uh, guys, that's it. I will possibly add a little bit more, uh, another chicken gravy, but we'll see how it all looks when it comes time. Now I gotta turn that timer off so it stops beeping me. That's gonna give me a headache. Um, but we're gonna leave it like this. We're gonna leave it on stovetop high. It's nine o'clock. It's only four hours. I could probably do slow cook high for four hours and the chicken will be fine. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it on stovetop high and uh, just let it cook for the, till one o'clock. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay. I've added um, two more of the packets of gravy to get it to this. I needed it, you know, deep for all these, especially these boys that are gonna pile it on. And the chicken is like just shredded up in there, just fell apart. That look good? Yeah, I think so. All right, so I'm gonna start my rice and my peas. I've got 45 minutes, so I've got to get them. Levi, it's too loud. Levi Wells. So I'm starting my rice now. Um, what I was saying about my, my leg, oh my gosh. I was standing there washing dishes and I turned from the sink to put some silverware in the drawer. And my body turned, my knee didn't. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought I was, I was gonna go down on the floor. I thought, I told mom my mom was a big, mine's only a six cup. No, yeah, six cups. I told mom I thought I had a 12 cup, 12 cup rice cooker. I know that I'm doing all kinds of weird movement guys I'm sorry I uh where's my cup there it is I've got stuff all over the place um you know what when you're hurting when you're hurting everything hurts like every movement. I called mom. I said, she came while ago. I thought I was going to have to have mom vacuum for me. I managed to vacuum. I okay. I've pulled it together. The rice is not done yet. It's back over here cooking. Um, it's been, those little numbers are just spinning. I haven't when I think it slowly just starts stopping and then eventually it's done. So, I don't know. Peas are ready. Chicken's ready. Tina's cake is ready. And mom picked up Dustin some pecan pies. So, I'm gonna sit down until people start walking in. But dinner's done and I will maybe get a picture of a plate of it in a minute for you. Wait for the rice. There it is. Looks good to me. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.